Now, there are many ways to describe our next guest. Singer, songwriter, songbird even, but they're not quite enough to get the crux of this lady's voice. Because not only can she sing, she can sing. Brenda <laughs> Ndambo, welcome to The Morning Show. Thank you so much for having me, Paddy. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to have you here. You know, as the year went into 2021, we, we almost left so much behind us, but needed so much motivation to, to move right. forward, right? right? And Kululeka is a, a very motivational, inspirational, it's an uplifting song. Tell yeah. us about your new single. My new single, Kululeka, is a very personal song for me. I've been suffering from um, chronic anxiety mm -hmm. for some time, uh, but it, it wasn't until 2020, during lockdown, that I actually like really had a panic attack. And then I had like an aha moment of, I need to do something really um, about my, my problem. So Kululega then became like my therapy song wow. that I, I was explaining my feeling of what I was feeling. But then there was a whisper voice that was, you know, saying just surrender, Kululega, you know, everything is going to be just okay. So it's, I call this music, this new music that I'm doing more like therapy yeah. because it's, it's, it's really, my personal story, but also it's something that I, I feel a lot of people have been struggling with uh, during this time. So Kululega is my heart to the audience to just say, just surrender, Kululega, be free. You know, all those inhibitions, all those things that are worrying you, all those things that uh, you're struggling with emotionally and mentally. Mentally, we cannot um, talk about this time and not mention mental um, problem that everyone has been struggling Absolutely. with. So this song really tackles that. So, you know, I can read it as a Susutu Sane or Usai, but it's Sane, right? It's Sane. The yeah, album it's sane. that you're about yeah. to release. It seems like mental health um, and awareness around mental health is at the crux of the work that you're doing now, which you've just explained. Yeah. So, you know, what other issues are you tackling in Sane? In Sane, I, I, I tackle gender-based violence. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the issue that we're facing as a country. Are we really free in terms of, you know, I'm, I'm still bringing back the Mshabawe to the uh, issue. You know, I'm writing about those songs. I'm really uh, tackling each and every issue that I feel like as South Africans we are facing, you know, I'm bringing back the message in the music. I want to portray a certain message. I want to bring hope at the same time, enlightenment. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's very interesting as an artist, I often wonder how much of yourself you keep for yourself versus <laughs> what translates into the music how do you play that relationship oh my god i i think music for me as i said ella it's become my therapy yeah so when you listen to my songs you can actually uh, get a glimpse of my life yeah you can actually get where i come from you can actually get where i'm heading you can actually get what i'm going through yeah. and and i feel like i always say every emotion is an emotion to everybody the pain that I've felt, you probably have felt it in your life, mm, you know, before. Mm. Whether it's my, it, it's the same thing or not, but pain is just pain. Joy is just joy. So whatever that I'm feeling, I always want to connect with someone saying, I know you've been through this. Yeah. I know you've felt this. But does it heal you as well? It does. Oh, oh my God, it heals me. I never release music that doesn't uh, speak to me. Brilliant. I never, I never... I never sing about anything that doesn't heal me first. Yeah. So w when it heals anyone, it, it because it has done the work in me first. So the issues of 2020 are different to the issues of 2016. Right. But what about Brenda the artist from 2016 to 2020, 2021? Oh my God. I think one of the things that people are going to be so excited about about yeah. this album is that the sound. Mm. You know, we are evolving as a nation, as a country, as, as the world. Everything is changing. So I feel like this album and this music that I'm bringing right now has evolved. Yeah. There's so much growth in the sound. You know, there's a lot of new elements that are brought into the music, mm -hmm. but I never wanted to run away from who I am mm. as Brenda. So there's so much growth in terms of the sound. The sound is really, really evolved. That's brilliant, Brenda. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, once you've written, then you get excited about the words, the melodies, then you record, you get excited about it being pressed, so to speak, yeah. and released. 
What about performance? Are you itching to get back on stage? And what does that look oh like for the rest God. of this year? Where is the camera? I want to go back on stage. <laughs> I cannot wait. I want to perform. Like, really, I cannot wait to perform. perform I, uh, for me, I describe myself as a performer first yeah. and a songwriter first. I love to be on stage. So um, I can't wait to be on stage. Actually, I'm performing this Sunday. Um, in Val, but I want to do a, a lot of performances. Um, yeah, but writing music is more, as I said, just me expressing myself, going in the studio. I'm not a studio artist. Uh -huh. I don't like to be in studio. I'm, I really want to be a live performer. Yeah. Just need those millions to them. Ah, they're coming. <laughs> you are blessed with them. They're coming. Thank you. For anyone who doesn't have the outlet of songwriting, right? Who is suffering from anxiety or maybe mm. even depression what would you say to somebody who loves brenda who mm. maybe has walked a similar path yeah. and would like to hear your voice on that i think one thing that i neglected that really almost kills me was to avoid it mm. so i i learned that speaking about speaking up helps a lot yeah. you know i've sick helped a professional help so i go i have, I have a therapist i go have sessions, you know, to, to help me because mental health, especially anxiety, you don't know that you're suffering until... What does that feel like? It feels like a dark place, lonely, that there's no one around you, you you're and getting emotional, taking yes. a bath. Physically, it cripples you, you know, your body. Like, I get really tired and I want to sleep. I don't want to see people. I don't want to talk to anyone. Um, I could be in a room with, full of people and sometimes laughing and, 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 and I'm not even there. I can't remember what I was even saying to those people, but now I'm on medication. So that's why I'm saying when you seek help, you get medication, you get medication, yes. you know, you get to control it. And also you get to talk about things that can trigger those emotions that put you down. Mm. Yeah. You know, I think it's so important to talk about it more yeah. because some in some sectors of society the stigma still exists yeah which is why are you going to a therapist or why going on medication and i'm mm. a big believer in using everything that god has created Me to too. assist us you know Me from too. exercise to eating right to going to the right doctors i started doing that as well because yes. i was really overweight okay I, I, as well i was really really big at some point I'm still working on it. When I'm on 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 the urge, I tend I tend to eat. Yeah. So eating becomes my my safe space. I'm mm. gonna eat and do mm. all the things. But I started uh, running, you know, and then I will, I will feel great. So I wake up at 5 a.m. I've got a routine. Okay, girl. I got yes. a routine. I read this book, The 5 a.m. Club. Yes, I know it. So yes. It changed my life really. Mm. So I wake up at 5 a.m. I do my affirmations. I exercise. Yeah. So I'm trying to eat healthy. I've got days where I'm not as, as uh, on, 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 on par. As got, we all do, yeah. we're human. Yeah. yeah, but in most cases, I really take care of myself. Oh my gosh. I'm so <laughs> happy to have connected with you. Thank you. Um, you know, on a, a different show many, many years ago, we connected on, is, on, yeah. on, on, on these topics. And it's yeah. so wonderful to see you grow and Thank rise you. and be Thank strong you. and use your voice for something so important. So Kulega mm -hmm. is the single, Sane is the album, yeah. Brenda Ndamba is her name. Thank you so much.